Hi everybody, it's Candy from Custom Queen Designs. I am back, finally. I know it's been a long time. I apologize to all my subscribers and all the viewers who are looking forward to seeing me put some more content up here, but I've had some personal issues that I've gone through, health issues, and a move. No longer in Texas, now in South Carolina, but still doing my thing, getting back up on it. So tonight, what I'm going to do is I am going to do a tumbler that looks like this one you see here. Not the same exact colors though, right? No, the colors I'm gonna be using is I'm gonna use pink again. I'm going to use white, orange, and yellow. And I will be using all pinata inks, just like normally. If you see what he's showing you over there, in the back I do have one of the Bria Reese inks. I'm not sure I'm gonna use that one. I think that the pinata orange is a little bit deeper, so I'm gonna go for that one. knocking stuff over trying to stand it up. Yeah, it's okay. This tumbler here is a 20 ounce um, stainless steel. It was based in black spray paint. And how I got the colors to be so vibrant was by dropping white alcohol ink onto the epoxy after I put the epoxy on the cup. And then right over the white marks, I dropped the colors that I wanted to use. Same swirling technique that I usually use, heated up with the heat gun a little bit. I have a bigger turner now, as you can see. I have a, a four-armed turner. Um, I got this one from Yates Crafty Crafts on Etsy.com. Great customer service. He always has really great sales. And since I've had this turner, I've had absolutely no problems with it. I like the side-by-side -side of it. The only thing is it's a little bit harder to do my tilting and everything, but my wonderful husband that's behind the camera We'll soon be building me some single turners so that I can get back to doing my regular thing. Okay, so what I have on turner right now is all black, uh, it's black based, 30 ounce skinny tumbler. And... Just some regular old Krylon, right? Spray paint? Yep, regular, no, um, Rust-Oleum. Rust-Oleum. I actually used this one this time. I have the Rust-Oleum two times ultra covered cover primer and it's extra matte. Ultra matte black. I said extra, ultra. But this is what I'm using. I love these paints. I love to use the flat colors as opposed to the glossy. I don't know why. It just seems like when you do the alcohol inks on the, the flat paints or the matte paints, they come out a little bit better. That's just my personal opinion. You, however, can use whatever spray paint you like, whatever works for you. Right now, what I you am- What got going on in the cup? Right now, I'm mixing my part A and my part B of my Pro Marine epoxy. My trusty Pro Marine, I've been, ever since I started with Pro Marine back in Texas, I've stuck with it, and this has become my go-to. I buy the half, no, the gallon bottles. Um, it equals, both parts equal a gallon. But it ends up being, you can get it on Amazon or you can get it from Pro Marine. Um, both of them are free shipping, $63 for a gallon. So it's not bad, pretty good price. I like the shine on it. All of these were made using Pro Marine. peekaboo action going on there, right? Yeah, and I will be doing a tutorial on this one very soon. Mm -hmm. And I also use Pro Marine on this one as well. It's kind of dark, you can't really see what it says, but it's kind of mysterious, I like to say. <laughs> Let's try to zoom on that. Ooh. See a little bit of the gold hue in there. And then if you turn it, and you go to the bottom, look what you see. Ooh, isn't that special? <laughs> Let me 
go ahead and finish mixing up my epoxy. This, this is one of our granddaughters. <laughs> this is Autumn Marie. Want to say hi? Hello. <laughs> this is my wonderful Audi bot. She is being my, my, I guess you can say cheerleader in my corner tonight for me. She's being my quiet girl. <laughs> so thank you very much, Autumn Marie. And as you can see, as I'm mixing my wonderful epoxy here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you that I have my trusty wine glass as always. This one's a little bit different though. Interesting design. Thank you very much, did it myself. I like that, thanks. Yeah, that's not wine though. <laughs> oh, and my wonderful coaster. You like that? That's what happens when you mix too much promarine. This huh? is what happens when I mix too much promarine and instead of throwing it away or letting it go to waste, we have about 10,000 coasters. She puts it in, she throws it in the mold. This is another one that I made the other night. So the way I see it is you can never have too many coasters because you know. Company comes over and yeah. Company coasters save lives. <laughs> save tables, whatever. So I'm getting this pretty much mixed up here and we can get started. And uh, what are you trying to do? Is there, is there something specifically that you're trying to do as you're mixing? Well, as always, when you first start mixing, it's pretty thick. Since you're mixing the two separate parts together, the part A, the part B, um, and it's cloudy. I'm trying to get it to a clearer consistency. Well, clearer, it's clear when you see it, but right now it's a lot of, you could see those billions of micro bubbles in there. Mm -hmm. I've heard that if you let it sit for a few minutes, that the micro bubbles will slowly go away on their own. Well, me being who I am, I, I don't always do what people tell me to do. Yeah, isn't that a little dangerous too? Because then as you, you know, when you put the two parts together, they become active. So letting it sit, isn't it going to let it yes, start to cure a little bit? I did used to add a little bit of heat to it, but I've learned that also if you add heat to it, it, it speeds up the curing process. So if you want to be able to take your time and add colors and add paint or add alcohol ink to your epoxy, you don't want to speed up that curing time because you want it to still be able to move while it's rotating on the cup. So I'm going to go ahead and I think I've gotten this down to consistency I want it to be. I'm going to sit this right here and then I'm going to turn on my timer. Now, as you can see, when I first started, my intentions were to make this a blue tumbler and then my intentions changed. Mm -hmm. And I don't know at the top if you can see a little bit of the blue peeking through, but I'm going to do my best to camouflage that. Copy. So, now that I've gotten this all different. Thank you, Shirley. You want to move over here a little bit so you can see? And then I'll move this out of your way, okay? That's so much earlier can see. not big on pouring the epoxy on anymore like I used to. Now I basically two fingers and I'm just gonna go start rubbing it on from there. Pouring is what caused me to have a lot of epoxy stuck in the bottom. I was wasting tons of epoxy at least this way. If I've done too much, I can have it left over and actually do something with it. I've also learned that you don't need a super thick coat of epoxy to get these cups done. 
and you can minimize your bumps at the bottom. Like sometimes if your turner isn't level, you can get like a lump that forms on the bottom because of how it turns. And part of the way you can minimize that is by not putting too much box on. And still get full coverage and don't have to have like a bunch of epoxy on. So just rubbing it around the bottom like this. Making sure I cover each and every section of the bottom. Go back up and down. I'm gonna put just a little bit more on just to make sure everything is covered. See what I got left? Yeah, so that's gonna be a coaster. That's definitely gonna be a coaster. It's gonna sit over here for a few minutes. This doesn't really take that long to do. Okay, so I'm gonna take this glove off and I am going to go ahead and add a little bit of heat to this. process doing here? This right here just helps it start moving a little bit for me. I don't know what everybody else's process is, but this is what works for me. So I'm going to not use the Bria Reese today. We're just going to use the Pinata inks. I'm going to start off with the white. And why start with the white? Because you have a dark background. If you try to put any color on a dark background like this, it's not going to show up. So if the color is transparent that yeah. you're adding, when you put it on the black, it's still going to look black. Yes. Okay. So, let's start. We're just randomly going to add some drops of white. I'll make sure I get some going down to the bottom. Thank you, baby. You can always come back because I'll probably come back and put more on there. But trust me, this white is it's it looks like it's spreading out already. Okay. We'll use the cap off that just in case I need to come back with it. First color I'm gonna add is pink. You're gonna go over any of the random dots that you have and just add some color to it. And I'm gonna go with some of the orange. And then I'm gonna come with some of the yellow. Is it still pretty? Okay. Good comments on the yellow. a little bit oh good that means I'm doing the right thing right okay and then let me come back with I think I'm gonna go more with the oranges and yellows this time got a lot of pink in there Maybe 
couldn't hurt, right? Okay, now this is where it gets tricky because, yes ma'am. You gotta let Nana work, okay baby? Be patient. You'll see in a minute why I'm gonna move, okay? Okay, just be patient, don't move. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is like I normally would do with my single turner, I'm just gonna do it with this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lift up. I think I'll go to this side first. So you got kind of a, a, cat, a catty corner lift and tilt going on here just so you folks at home so you know and you guys i do not mind the poxy dripping on my my it doesn't bother me Ooh. it's starting to look pretty there the way those colors are mixing up all the ripples and the waves okay so then when i see that i start getting it going that way what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick it up. You're gonna touch it down to the table so you don't have to you kill I see you can. And the colors are gonna start running down. Sometimes it takes a second, but willing to hold it. It's worth it in the long run. And I'm building up my muscles because I don't drink milk. What? <laughs> okay. Alrighty then. Are we seeing any kind of progress? Yeah. With the dripping down? Definitely we're seeing so the colors start to move down towards the bottom of the cup. I'm gonna hold it up like this. Hmm? One, sweetie. Love you. I love you too, baby. So then, what I'm gonna do is once I start seeing it dripping, mm -hmm. one more time. Come back the other way. This way. Now it really came down far from the, like halfway down from the top. Into mm -hmm. like the middle at one point. Bless you, sweetheart. And I just wanted to get it to come down just to. Oops. Careful. It doesn't seem to be the movement isn't going that much, so what I do. And I did this the other day, you guys, I was by myself, so don't get nervous. I'm just gonna put my hand down here and hope that it so it don't slip or nothing. And the heat again, it'll let the epoxy move so that the color can slide, right? Yep. We don't need a lot, just a little bit to move it. tilting to it or add any more heat. I want it to go just the way it's going right now. I 
I like that. I'm kind of tempted to add a little bit of gold in there. But then that would mean I would have to do some more tilting. And um, I'm an old lady, so. <laughs> tilted out for the evening? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm all tilted up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use the remainder of this epoxy to do this coaster. This was something I was telling my husband I wanted to try. So I'm gonna put some of this in here. Doesn't always make a, um, a full thick coaster, thick enough. Usually when I make these, these are not for anybody in particular. These are for at home use. It's just for us. Okay, now I'm just gonna take another good look at what we got going on. Bottom is real funky, real wicked. Love those colors. So, I'm gonna use some mica powders to mix in here. Oh, and I also got one more thing I need to add to the tumbler as well. But hold on, Autumn Marie. I'm gonna add, add some of this mica powder. Now, this color right here is rose wine. And this mica powder comes from Mica Mania. Um, mica Mania is a group that I was in on Facebook and I actually won this and two other colors. I don't have them out here with me right now, but really good mica powders, really, really pretty, rich colors. And this again, this is rose wine. So I'm gonna mix that up. That is pretty. And then the other color that I'm gonna do is, this is some mica powder that I got off of um, Amazon. I don't know what the name of it is, but it's just soap dye, but it's pearl. Yeah, it's like soap Almost. And I'm gonna put some of that in here. And kind of the same way that we do a dirty pour is how I'm gonna try to attempt to do this. Never worked with micas like this before, so it's my first time really working with some micas. Try out something new. Can't hurt. I thought I had some more cups over here. No empty ones? Mm -mm. Okay, well, that's fine. So what I'll do I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna mix this in. And you guys, again, this is me just attempting to do something clever. We hope. I hope. And I'm going to take this stick a little swirl action around here like that you like that not mix it but just move it around right so then make sure i got this on a pretty flat area that's bad would probably be to sit it right there and then i'm just gonna pour this in and see how that comes out that I'm gonna do and I, the next the next time I make a video I'll show you guys the coaster so you can see how it came out because I'm dying to see how it came out um, 
things. The last thing that I'm gonna do is just like I did with this cup, I don't know if you see a little bit of the glitter that's in it. This is actually Golden Opal Snow Chunky. I got this from Glitter and Shine. They also have a Facebook group, Glitter and Shine LLC. They have really pretty glitters. And all I do is I take a bit of it and I finger sprinkle. It picks up whatever color that's around. That's what I like about it. And it doesn't take much. As, I, as you can see, I'm just putting my fingers in, grabbing a couple. So this has basically got different size glitter pieces of glitter yep. in there, huh? I thought you used different glitters if you would on the other nope, one. Nope, this was all one particular glitter. And then I'm gonna go to the bottom really quick. You can stay right where you are. And then I'm just gonna do this. And whatever's left in my hand, just do a little shake of it. I see that there's not really much on that side, so. And that's it. That's it, that's all. And the next time I come back on, I'll show you guys the result of this tumbler that I've done. I'll show you the result of the coaster that I've done. Hopefully this will come, this will work out pretty good. I'm gonna put a little bit of heat to it because if you look down here, you'll see that it's starting to spread to the middle a little bit like the colors. Maybe that might turn out good. I don't know, but you know me, I play around with things a little bit. So I'm thinking that maybe the next slot, not live, but the next video that I do, I was telling my husband, I've never actually put a, um, a wine glass and did a dirty pour on a wine glass while it was turning on a turner. So that'll be something that I'm interested in trying to do. And maybe we might check that out. I also have some really cool notebook molds and we might go ahead and do a couple of notebook molds as well. But I think it looks kind of cool. It looks very cool. Thank you very much. That's what you get for not drinking milk.